Hi everyone, so today I want to show something really cool. You know how Cypress has time traveling debugger where it takes snapshots of a DOM of application at the moment of each command execution. Those DOM snapshots are then used when you hover to recreate how the application looked at that particular moment so you can debug it and understand it better. In a previous video I've shown how to get those snapshots and actually create them yourself and how to restore them in the DevTools. In this video I will show how to take the snapshot like this one and not only restore it inside the application iframe but instead clean it up meaning removing all JavaScript, all external styles and instead save it as HTML page. And the cool thing about this, this dumb snapshots are static our HTML we're going to create is a static page so that we can do cool things with it if we want to. So here's what we should do. I'm going to open the DevTools so we can see the results. And the first thing we need to do is to understand what's inside the snapshot, how can we clean it up, you know, what kind of styles, tags, script tags are there. And the best thing to understand what's inside this snapshot is to look at code that actually creates the snapshot. You can find it inside Cypress repository and you can see there are a couple of utility methods and then there are methods for restoring the DOM. You can see that there are styles in both body and the head elements. You can see you can find HTML, replace HTML, replace head styles. So this is how Cypress itself cleans up the DOM before restoring it into this application iframe. So the easiest thing that I found in doing is because these methods are all private, right? They're all in a closure, they're not exposed, is to just copy the ones I needed. So let me copy them here. So I need just utility methods for replacing all external styles with inline. So when we create a snapshot, we can, for example, get all the styles from the head element for now, right? Without cleaning it up. Okay, you can see that this is uh, the style okay and what can we do with it we can take those styles and we can uh, replace with inline style elements okay now oh, this not defined Let's see oh yes we have to get it from the content existing styles let's see okay so existing styles are right here okay so we can grab them Okay, so that's good, right? The only other thing that we have to do is that if we look at the head of this document, it still has the script tags. So we want to remove all JavaScript in uh, the head and in the body of the DOM snapshot so it doesn't execute when we run it. So luckily, removing the styles of the script tags rather is pretty simple. If we have the head element, we can find all the script tags and set their contents to empty. So this removes all inline scripts and just makes them blank. All right, so we replace the styles, so did some prep work. Now we have to take those uh, JavaScript, well, not JavaScript, DOM elements wrapped in jQuery, like head and body, and actually generate HTML. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to use a utility class. This utility class is part of a browser standard. It's called XML Serializer. It needs a DOM node to actually work. We have jQuery object, so we'll get a DOM element from it. Let's put it here and let's print it out. So this is our head element and we already started the HTML around it. We just need to add the body element. But notice all inline styles thanks to Cypress code. Now we just need the body as well, also serialized into a string. Okay, so we're gonna append the body from the snapshot, right? That we'll get and this returns jQuery, so we get just the first element there. So that's already great, right? There's a lot more. Instead of just printing it, why don't we save it into a file? Okay, so we're gonna save it into out HTML, right? Out HTML, and here it is. The only problem is our HTML is not indented. So to solve this, I'm going to use a utility method, a utility third-party library called pretty. So right here, I'll say pretty, I'll call it indent. 
Okay, so let's see how it worked. So this is our indented file. Everything coming from the page, the inline script that Cypress embeds to actually start it up has been emptied, so nothing is going to run. All the styles, and after that, the markup for the game, and look, it already has the numbers, just like it has 172, 172. So it really took a snapshot of the game's DOM with no code, and we can see if we can recreate this by opening this HTML. So this is what we had in our DOM in the application iframe, and this is how we saved it, right? And notice that there is no JavaScript, so the timer, which is ticking right here, is not ticking here, it's frozen, because there is no game, right? It's a static HTML that doesn't react to any clicks. So once you can generate dumb snapshots on demand, export them into HTML file, it's up to you what you want to do with it.